how do you build a collaborative culture? I think that you start off with, again, having clear vision and clear objectives. But um, I think one key thing is focusing on alignment versus agreement. And a lot of companies, you know, want everyone to agree. Well, we're not going to agree. It's just not going to happen, right? But we can align. So, for instance, let's say we're football players, and I call for a pass play. And you say, but I want a running play. I said, no, but it's going to be a pass play. You go, well, I'm not playing. You have to align. You have to say, I might not agree with the decision, but I'm going to make this thing happen. So making that alignment versus agreement part of your culture helps collaboration. And also, there's other ways we do it at Bliss, which is, is um, we have this, we, we develop this internal agency. It's a faux agency. It's called Agency B. And what it is, is if you have a creative problem and you need help, you call the agency. So anyone can join the agency that day, and we brainstorm on fixing the problem. It's department agnostic, level agnostic. It's agnostic of everything. Everyone has an equal say. And that's the best way to build collaboration because you're not worried about what my boss will say while I'm dipping my toe into their pool. It's all gone. So we all just go and we found that it's our most cre we're at our most creative and our most fun when we have these agency B meetings because we collaborate our best.